After film director Richard Ariadi's debut, Submarine was a hit with the critics. He returns with a double, loosely based on the 19th century story of the same title and set in an 80s influenced nameless American city, it's hard to pin down into a genre as it could be popped into various labels. So in the double, we're introduced to Simon James, controlled by Jesse Eisenberg, on a subway bullied by a fellow passenger into giving up his seat despite the fact that the rest of the carriage is empty. This introductory scene defines the character perfectly. Simon is a withdrawn character, lacking in self-esteem and confidence, downtrodden by his mum and not recognised for his skills and abilities at work, never noticed by his love interest, Hannah, and he even watches her through a telescope. It's a little creepy too. Enter James Simon, also Jesse Eisenberg, the complete contrast in personality and behaviour to Simon, yet he actually looks identical. To begin with, they complement each other. Simon helps James with his job, while James helps Simon to make contact with Hannah. Have eventually, James takes control of Simon's life by dating Hannah, taking the credit for Simon's efforts at work, as well as stealing his identity too. So here's my first impressions. The film is visually stunning. Its dark storyline is complemented with a dark visual on screen too. Not once are the characters given access to daylight. We've all seen set in the windowless and dimly lit office, the subway train, or at night time as well. However, this is complemented with effective lightning that really helps set the overall tone. In addition, the music and sound effects are really used to great effect here. You'll probably want to know about Eisenberg's performance. Now, he does a fantastic job of playing the two roles, faintly keeping it clear for the audience to tell which character is which to begin with and blending that line skillfully as the plot progresses. There are some nice cameos from members of the submarine cast as well as an IT crowd co-star. This brings me on to the comedy value. Clearly, with its dark plot and obvious bleak sleazy setting, it clearly was never going to be a laugh out loud type of film. Yet any comedy value seems to be so secretly tangled it comes to a point where it often goes unnoticed, which is a shame. For his second film, director Richard had done a really good job. Perfectly cast and beautifully shot, this film is great for anyone looking for something slightly off Hollywood with a focus on storytelling and character development too. 4 out of 5, good. That coffee. And scrambled eggs. You don't serve breakfast in the evening. Why not? Because it says so on the menu. Well, do you still have eggs here? Yeah. And do you have a frying pan? Yeah. Then do me a favor and make me some scrambled eggs. Fine. Anything else? Bacon. Bacon. And toast. And toast. And a beer. And a beer. Anything else? No, that's it. Are you sure? Just give me the damn food. The website for all your media needs is here. For reviews and trailers on the latest games, music, or films, Visit mediapig.co.uk. When you smile, when you smile at me.